The Oxford Martin School did a study in 2013 in which they indicated that 47% of the U.S. job market would be vulnerable to automation uh, and disruption that way over the next 10 to 20 years. Then they updated their study to include the entire world. They updated the study in just a few months ago in 2016 and look at the numbers for developing countries. 72% for Thailand, 77% for China, 85% for Ethiopia. Now, why is that true? Well, they are calculating that there are more people, a lot more people, doing routine tasks. So what that says is we're going to have to anticipate potential disruption and think long and hard about the fact that we're generating a huge amount of new wealth and we need to find mechanisms to help educate people and uh, have people not suffer while we're generating this tremendous amount of wealth. One of the keys to doing that, to managing the benefits and risks of AI and machine intelligence, is to combine humans plus AI plus good business process. That's not just a throwaway line. It turns out that humans plus AI can outperform AI, and humans plus AI plus good business process outperforms humans plus AI alone. We are going to eventually understand how our brains work. We are going to reverse engineer the brain. And when we do, we are going to be able to build artificial neocortex. Our neocortex is about the size of a dinner napkin and surface area. We'll be able to build artificial neocortex with the surface area of this room or Manhattan or New York or the US or the planet. And the reason why that's important and not excessive is this. This is the accelerating wave of human knowledge. If you're particularly brilliant, you might be able to master four or five different areas of science and technology, but not all of these simultaneously or the intersections between them that are the most innovative areas. This is truly an inhuman task unless you add AI. And when you add AI, it makes it tractable. So we are going to team with AI's strengths. We're going to get best-in-class performance, at least for some tasks, fewer biases in decision-making, super-fast operational velocity. We'll have a partner that can work seven days a week, 24 hours a day, no vacations or sick leave required, no health care required, no whining. Isn't that refreshing? And limited empathy, language understanding, and zero social grace. Remember, AI and machine learning is going to alter the balance of power between large companies and small companies. That's an opportunity for acquisition. It's also an opportunity for disruption. Let me make some specific and practical recommendations to you. To team humans plus AI plus best-in-class processes, to utilize machine and deep learning algorithms, to transform financial products, services, and operations, not just customer-facing, but inside your company to try all the great free software out there, to leverage AI platforms that bring you way up the hierarchy of development and accelerate your development, to outsource via Kaggle and Expertify and other services, and to be proactive about security, ethics, and liability. It's important to have a sense of perspective about all this, and I know of no photo that provides more perspective than this one, taken of the Earth from Jupiter's orbit. This is what Carl Sagan called the pale blue dot inside the yellow ring. That's where all of us live. That's where everyone you have ever loved lives. That's where everyone who has ever lived in human history has lived. It should be obvious by now that we are all in this together, and we damn well better act like it. Thank you very much.